Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to showcase one of the goats in Pokemon. We got ourselves a ranked Charizard video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Hopefully you guys like it up. We're here for it. But what's going on everybody? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, like I already mentioned, rocking out with a ranked Charizard Sun team. This team has a lot of ver variety with it. You can go a bunch of different ways for with it. You got Trick Room with Indeed and Arm Rouge. You got the Logan Torkoal combo. And then last but not least, you got Charizard and Fluttermane. Two top tier special attackers within Regulation D. Cannot wait to showcase this team and grab some wins for you guys. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my regulation D content goes live. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Hisuian Logan. I've been seeing this Pokemon a good bit whenever I see Torkoal out on a team and it is still just as strong, maybe even stronger than regular Logan. It's got Chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun, Focus Sash as its item, Rock and Close Combat, Solar Blade after you to make Torkoal go first within that sunlight, and then Sleep Powder for its fourth and final move. We got Indeedee in our second slot, and Indeedee, as long as it's in the game, it will be a top tier support Pokemon. Its typing is amazing, it can set the rain, it's great for support, you really can't go wrong with it. It's got Rocky Helmet as its item, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room for a wonderful move set for Indeedee. Third Pokemon is going to be the star of the show, my boy Charizard over here. It's got solar power to make it do even more damage within the sun. It's got choice scarf as an item to make it as fast as it possibly can. And then the move set is deadly. Overheat, heat wave, air slash, focus blast. Really loving this move set for this Pokemon. Cannot wait to use him on the rank ladder. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane over here. And what I'm thinking here is Fluttermane has the booster energy to outspeed Charizard. And with that, we can actually pop Sunny Day with Fluttermane instead of going into Torkoal if say like they're leading maybe like a fake out Pokemon or something like that or maybe Fluttermane is just a better option for Sun I think the speeds line up pretty well I haven't tried out this team yet but I'm super excited to be rocking with it but uh that's what I think it's gonna happen I think Fluttermane is made to be faster so it could pop Sunny Day for Charizard to go second and then go from there Fluttermane also has Dazzling Gleam, Moon Blast, and Shadow Ball for each other three moves I'm really liking this moveset and I'm really liking this combo with the Sun Squad in our fifth slot, we got Arm Rouge. Arm Rouge pairs up perfectly with Ndidi, and in the Trick Room, it is going to be amazing. It's got Flash Fire, the Life Orb as item, Rockin' Expanding Force, Heat Wave, Aurora Spear, and Trick Room. Final Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. Great to pair up with the Charizard, great to pair up with the Loganth, and even better in Trick Room. It's got Drought for that nice little sun. Then we got Choice Specs as item with Eruption, Heat Wave, Flamethrower, and Earth Power. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Charizard team. First match is here, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. They got three of the genies. They got Enamorous, Thunderous, and Landorus, and then they also have Urshfu, Amoongus, and Arcanine. So Arcanine is probably going to come out here for intimidate purposes, but our whole team is special attacking, besides Hisui and Logan. So. Maybe we won't see him. Maybe we'll, we will not. But I want to see the Flutter main speed and Charizard speed real quick with the booster energy. So yeah, booster energy is going to pop at 205. And Charizard speed should be around like 170, correct? 167. Yeah, with Choice Scarf. I believe my thought process was correct. Flutter main will outspeed. So with that being said, I could just go Torkoal and Charizard if I want to. I might lead them. I am scared of Urshfu. Always a problem. We already know that. But I could go Torkoal and Charizard if I really want to. I could go Charizard and Fluttermane. I kind of want to lead one or the other. I feel like it could be really, really good for us. So do I want to do any of that? Maybe, potentially? Could? I definitely could. I definitely could. And you know what? Screw it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going in with both of them. Um, does anybody outspeed Fluttermane? No, I think we're fine with that. I think we're fine with them too. And then in back end, I could go Torkoal Logan, which I, I kind of like. I definitely want Logan if Sun's being set. And then final position, maybe just Ndidi. Have a little bit of support on the side. I'm with it because we're not popping Trick Room. We are not popping Trick Room. So we don't really want Torkoal or even Armors. I mean, I could go Armors. But again, Logan and Sun is a must bring. It's a must bring. So we'll see who they want to lead. We'll see how, how they want to go into it. I could definitely see them potentially go and say Thunderous as a lead. Maybe just throwing Thunder Waves across the board to get some speed control. But I think we should be fine from there. I really, sh I really do. So we'll see. Amoongus and Lando come out here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm thinking of just Terrasalize here. Might be, a, might be a nice little play for us. So Intimidate's gonna come out here. Good thing we're special attacking. Let's get ripping. Sun is gonna be set. We're gonna boost our energy up. 
Got the choice card. We got it all cooking. We got it all cooking. So what he could potentially do here is I could definitely see like a rage powder or I could see a protect from Landris. And then Amoogus trying to put me to sleep, but I think we should be fine. Amoogus might thrasize. But I'm going to go for a sunny day. I believe Flutter Mage should outspeed the Charizard. And we can pop a Heat Wave while we are terrored as fire. So Charizard can do a ridiculous amount of damage. So I'm going to get after it. I am going to get after it. Let's see if we can get things started off hot here in today's video. So the Char Char with the typing. I am scared of the Rock moves, right? Rock is Charizard's worst enemy. But at least since we terrored in a fire, it's only two times super effective instead of four. But I think we might see an Amoongus Terror here. I think we're going to see an Amoongus Terror. Water. A little Water Terror. Is that what are you doing? Yep. Water Terror into Amoongus. I think he's going to protect Lando and put my Charizard to sleep. Which, I mean, we could deal with that. I mean, nothing crazy, right? Yep. So, smart play from our opponent. Definitely smart play from our opponent. So, we're going to say Night Night to our, uh, to our Charizard. Which is fine. I mean, my Fluttermane can still get some work done. But Heat Wave's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? How much damage are we doing to this Amoongus? I'm kind of curious. Not bad. It's not bad damage. Do we get a burn? No, but we get spored. And actually, you spore my Flutter Main? Thank you. Thank you for that. Spore my Flutter Main. So from here, we're just gonna go into a Heat Wave. And I guess I'll just keep trying to get after it, right? I'll waste some turns down with Flutter Main. Thank you for putting my Fluttermane to sleep instead of my Charizard. I'll take that all day. The so Fluttermane is now asleep. Charizard will go next, which is big time for us. Heat Wave. Who's dodging? Amoongus dodge it. Not Lando. Not Lando. Why does Lando get to dodge it? That's just terrible. We do some big time damage on Amoongus. EQ is going to fly here. And that's going to KO his Amoongus and KO my Charizard. That hurts his soul, man. You get a crit on my Charizard, too. Wow, we should have been ripping. Like, that Lando probably would have died of that Heat Wave. That was some big-time damage coming out with the Heat Wave. The Flutter Main's still here. We're kind of hoping it wakes up here. And we'll go from there. That is terrible. That is just... Oh, that's ugly. That is so ugly. Hmm. From here, I mean, Logan's pretty smart player. here. So, yeah, I'm going to go Logan. While Sun is here, we might as well just rip it with Logan. We'll see what they want to do. So Logan's out and about. Thunderous is going to come in here. Um, hmm. Air moves are kind of scary. The air moves are definitely kind of scary. But from here, I could just put Thunderous to sleep. Which I'm going to do. And hopefully Fluttermane can wake up here. So I would love to just drop a Moonblast into one of these slots. Or you know, I'll Gleam just for a nice little damage output. So we're hoping Fluttermane can wake up. One turn sleep would be ideal, but you guys know me, I never get one turn sleeps. So I'm not really banking on it, right? I'm really not banking on it. But Charizard missed that Heat Wave on Lando. I didn't mind if it didn't hit the Moogus. Just need to smack down on that Lando. Could have been big time for us. But Lando might even protect here. It might even protect. Let's see. He withdraws the Lando. So Lando goes for the withdrawal. That's actually fine by me. That gives an extra turn to... What I mean to wake up here because I'm gonna put this thing to sleep. Cool. You were slumped. There's no way you're lumberied, right? I'll be so upset. I'll be so upset if you're lumberied. Cool. It's not. If Fluttermane wakes up, we get a one turn sleep. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. So we chip up some nice damage. Thunderous is slumped. Um, from here, uh, what do I want to do here because my moves are very terrible. Very bad. God awful. I think I'm just doing that and maybe just Shadow Ball and Moon Blasting into you. Yeah, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. The Thunder's gonna be fast asleep. It is Prankster. It's looking to get off some big time damage. And we're looking to double down and finish off this Enamorous. I don't know if we can. Because Hisuian Logan's not doing any crazy damage here. We'll see. How much damage are you doing, Logan? Like five and a half? That's not bad. That might be enough. That might be enough for Fluttermane to finish this off with Moon Blast. Big time? Big time. Let's go. Okay, so we pick up the KO that way. Wow, this match would have been so much easier if Charizard just landed that Heat Wave. If Charizard just landed that Heat Wave. This match would have been 10 times easier. Would have been 10 times easier. So Intimidate comes out here. Um, Hmm. 
I'm just gonna solar blade down Lando. Actually, the sun end. I'm not too sure. I gotta actually check. Sun might end it. No, we have sun for one more turn. And I really want to double down into him, but on the off chance that he might protect, I'm gonna throw this moon blast into Thunderous. Thunderous just wakes up. So Thunderous with the wake up, he's gonna scary face slow me down a little bit. Who you slowing down? Is a real question. Just slow down my Flutterman. Okay. I feel you. I understand. Solar Blade is now going to fly here. And he's probably dropping EQ, correct? Which kind of sucks, but it'd be like that. So Solar Blade's not doing enough damage. Not doing the damage that we want to. Moonblast's going to fly here. And do some big time damage on you. The Rock Slide now flies here, and Sun is gone, so Chlorophyll's out the way. Okay. Man, that's a good match. We got a good match here. We got a great match. So now I still have Indeedy in the back end. I can follow me some shots if I want to, but what I'm thinking here is just to protect the Logan and get rid of Thunderous, right? Could be my play. Could definitely be my play. Could definitely be my play. I don't have Protect with you. That kind of sucks. That actually really sucks. Um, hmm. I'll throw Lando to sleep then. And I'll just gleam across the board. Yeah, I'm with that, because they have double hitting moves. There's no point in going for a follow me there. Sleep powder's gonna fly. We still outspeed. We put the land of the sleep. This thing could have the lumberry. I do not know what item this thing has. Maybe I should have thought of that. Cool, it doesn't have the lumberry. Awesome. We love that. We love you not having the lumberry. Wild Bolt Storm comes out here. Logan's gonna dodge. Indeed, he's able to soak all day. And we make a nice little make some nice plays here. It makes some nice plays with that Charizard. I mean, Charizard gets us started here, doing some big-time damage onto that Amoogus, even with Water-type, but... Since we missed the Landorus, it was kind of tough. It, was, it made this battle a lot tougher than it should have been, but now we're sitting here. I am going to start charging a Solar Blade. Actually, yeah, I got to start charging a Solar Blade. We'll start charging a Solar Blade, and... We'll just go for Dazzle Blade, but I think our opponent's going to cancel the match, right? Yep, battle was canceled, 1-0 with the Charizard team. Let's hop to our second match, try to use that Pokemon a little bit more. Second match is on its way, and we're looking to continue with our tear. We're 1-0 here, going up against a Illusion Hisuian Zoroark team with Cloyster, Garchomp, Jigglypuff, or I should say Screamtail, and then they got Tornadus and Florges. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I kind of want to go Charizard and maybe like Torkoal for the lead. I could do that, but I think they're going to lead Tornados and just go for like a Tailwind, and they might also lead a Pokemon like Garchomp. Hmm. Do I go in with these two? I kind of like it. I kind of like it, right? Yeah, I'm going to go into both of these guys. If they want to set up Tailwind, they can set up Tailwind. I am going to bring Logan in the back end. Could be wonderful. And then Indeedee. We got to go in with the same squad as we did last time. We got it. We got it. We just called it dub with it. Trying to use Charizard a little bit more. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We can pop the Sunny Day with Fluttermane all day. We don't want to. We don't have to. We can just go into like a Dazzle Gleam, Moon Blast, or Shadow Ball. We got a lot of different options with the squad. That's what I really, really like about that. But if you guys have been watching for this long, made it to the second battle, and you're already subscribed, already liked up today's video, make sure you guys consider becoming a member. There's a join button down below next to the subscribe button. It's not there. There should be a link down in the description below for you guys. So if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, you get sub badges, emotes, all that good stuff. Become a member today. But they end up going Gar Gar. Gar Gar Chomp Chomp. Alongside with Tornadus. Now do I hard swap here? I could hard swap into like Lilligan. Just start getting after it. Maybe pop Sunny Day next turn. Or I can Terrastalize, be able to eat up the Rock Slide, and then just pop a Heat. That sounds a little bit better in my eyes. So you know what? I'm going to do that. That is exactly what Gene's gonna do here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We'll pop the sunny day. I know we're not gonna KO the Garchomp, but Garchomp should not be able to KO us with a Rock Slide, right? Should not be able to happen. Plus, I wanna set the sun for Logan. We'll see what they wanna do here. They probably have Rain Dance here, too, right? And there's no way they pop Rain Dance. Maybe next turn they'll pop Rain Dance, but. Right now, they're not going to pop the rain in. So we should be able to get off a big time heat wave with the sun out and about. Plus, we're Terrasalized Charizard. I probably shouldn't have Terrasalized Charizard, but it's a lot more fun to Terrasalized Charizard. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun letting this thing just do as much damage as it possibly can. So we'll see. So he ends up going for the Tailwind. Are you going for the Rock Slizzle? Are you sliding rocks onto me? Let's see what you got. I'm actually outspeeding you. Can Charizard outspeed you too, Garchomp? That'd be insane. You are going for the Rock Slide. Chomp or Charizard should be able to eat it. He survived on one, which is insane. And he gets a crit. 
The free focus dash, though. We're going to die to solar power now, but still. I'll take this turn all day. Because we just got rid of Tornadas. And we got to burn onto the child. All right, Charizard's out for the count. He really got a crit on me. Come on, man. I Terrasalize for a reason. So we get two turns with Charizard. And he's just getting absolutely murked today. He's doing good. He, he's, if he lands one Heat Wave, it is so worth it. It's so worth it every single time. And we got the burn on Garchomp, which is even better. They burn the Chomp. Um, did I bring out Logan in the sun? Probably, right? It's double speed. It can match the tail in Pokemon. Uh, who else did they have? Or I could just bring out Ndidi. I think bringing out Ndidi is going to be a move here. So I can potentially follow me some shots. And of course they got Cloisty. Of course they got Cloisty. So I'm not too worried about Garchomp. It's burned. I think now is going to be a time to just like kind of follow me and try to get rid of Cloyster. And waste out the turns. So I'm just going to do that. Are we going to a Moonblast or a Shadow Ball? Moonblast is a bit more damage. So I'll rip it to a Moonblast into Clo Cloyster slot. But come on, man. If my Charizard had one more turn, just like last battle, this match would be 10 times easier. One more turn here would be huge. It would be huge. Even though, actually, Cloyster's rather fast, right? I believe its speed's actually really good. It's probably skilled in Cloyster. I think it's a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to follow me the shots here. I do not want to just, like, let my Fluttermane die. And we'll get after it. A Bitter Malice this thing's going for. And it does not affect me. You're crazy going for Bitter Malice. Oh, this is Zoroak, isn't it? It's Zoroak using Bitter Malice. That's Zoroak, right? Is it not Zoroak? It is Zoroak, okay. <laughs> Little booger. Look at him over here. So he followed me the shots. Rock Side's gonna come out here. It's not gonna kill Fluttermane. And from here, I can just go into another follow me and just Dazzle Gleam. So we thriving here. We thriving. Still got Logan in the back end. Follow me, switch to Gleam. Gleam will clean this one up. And then we still have Logan in the back end with I think like two turns left in Sun. We'll see what they want to do here. And I can always reset the sun, because once Tailwind ends, that means sun ends, and Fluttermane can be the fastest on the field. And I can just reset the sun if I want to. But that thing used Bitter Malice. It's like, wait a minute, Cloyster doesn't learn that move. Get this thing out of here. Then Zorak pop through. It throws me off every single time. Especially in as, like, a second slot. It's usually a first slot Pokemon, right? Usually run it, leading it. So that was a little weird. We go for the follow me. Hyper Voice is now going to fly here. Does not affect Fluttermane. And Dazzling now flies and picks up Double Kill. No problem. Come on, man. That's too easy. You guys are members. Give me the come on, man. That's too easy emote. Down in the comment section down below. Learn me some of LeBron James. Love that. Dude, that's one of my favorite clips ever. It's so funny. I love, like, LeBron James means they're just so funny. Me and my cousin, we'd laugh so hard at him. It's just so funny. But they have Cloyster as our final Pokemon. And I think we just follow me again. We don't want Cloyster out speeding, and then we'll try to drop Moonblast in the slot. The follow me's gonna come out here. Hopefully, no double hitting moves are here. We would not like that one bit. And we actually outspeed you. Cool. The Moonblast's gonna fly here. He's gonna go for his Icicle Spear, and this is why Cloyster's deadly. It's got skill link. It hits five times every single time. But we might be able to soak it up. We should be able to. Let's soak up two more. Oh, yeah, all day. Come on, man. That's too easy. We saw Logan through the back end. This one was cake. This one was cake. So Tailwind is a goner. And from here, we're just going to Gleam. And we're just going to Moonblast. And he goes for an Ice Shard. We have the terrain. Come on. That's too easy. 2-0. <laughs> oh, we just guarantee ourselves a winning record. Rocking out with this Charizard team. Let's hop into our third. Look for that perfect record. Final match is here. We are absolutely thriving out with this Charizard team. 2-0. Oh. Let's go 3-0 oh here. Going up against a Sneasler team. Sneasler. We used that Pokemon in yesterday's video. And that thing was absolutely amazing. Doesn't have Rillaboom like our team did. And there is a fly on my recording light. It's just it's just going around. So if you guys see it in the cam, I don't know. Yell at it. Do something. It's just annoying me right now. But we also have Fluttermane. They got Indeedee. They got Gargonackle. And then they got... Gyarados and Tornado. So this fly comes past me one more time. I swear, you guys are just gonna see my cat-like reflexes. Just, mwah, snatch that thing up, slam it to the ground. Time to get on out of here. Maybe I should use like a Charizard Heat Wave onto it. Get cooking that way. 
That'd be a good way to take out flies. Just hire a Charizard, you know? <laughs> Just let it rip. But I think they're going to lead Tornadus. I think Papa Trick Room is probably going to be a good call for us. So I'm going to go Indeedee. I am going to go Armourouge. I really do like both of them. I'm going to bring Torkoal in the back end alongside with Charizard in the back end. Because if Trick Room runs out, Charizard's going to be that guy. So we'll see if we can win this match right here. Hopefully we can. We're 2-1. and one. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. So you guys know the deal with me. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, anytime we're 2-0, and oh, I really don't care about the third battle. I just like to play the third battle. It's fun. Because I already called a dub today. It don't matter. It don't matter, but still. I always like to go 3-0. But I don't take the third battle as serious as it should when I'm 2-0. I'm just thriving around having a good time. But indeed, he's going to set that terrain. Um, Huh. If I follow me, I think I gotta follow him. If you're going for Shadow Bolt into my armor, I gotta follow me up the shot. Can't taunt me, which is wonderful, but yeah, follow me is gonna be play. We're gonna follow me, we're gonna set up the trick room, no problem whatsoever. And we'll roll out strong from there. I love it. I absolutely love it. Hopefully he sets up a tailwind. I, I would not mind that one bit. But trick room's gonna be awesome for us. We might not even need Charizard in this third and final battle. By the looks of it, it looks like armor is gonna come in hot here, right? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe Fluttermane has Imprison Trick Room. Every now and then you get them. And they'll always do you dirty. So hopefully hopefully it's not that time, right? And it's not that time. Good thing we did go for the follow me. It's exactly why I did it. Just in case the Shadow Ball wants to come out of here. He ends up Leak when storming me as well. You can drop her speed. I don't care with Papa Trick Room. We don't get the speed drop. But still, Trick Room is here. It is now out and about. It's looking beautiful. It's looking lovely. And from here, I think I'm just doing this, right? Yeah, helping hand with the uh, with the expanded force. Gonna do crazy damage. I really wish this terror type was uh, psychic. Because at that point, woo wee. Good night. <laughs> Good night. But it's just overkill at that point. That's why a lot of people use like grass terror, like we have on the armors. It's just overkill. Like. Chances are expanded force in the terrain is already gonna KO, especially with like helping hand. It's already double damage and then stab. There's just no need to waste time on it. So it ends up protecting. I think Tornadus probably dies to this, correct? Tornadus, you die this or you sashed? I mean, you're not gonna be able to KO my armors anyway. So we'll see how this one plays out here. So expanded force comes out here and it actually lives. It lives. And Bleak Windstorm's gonna fly. Armor you dodge it. Armor Rouge dodge it. We love it. We love it. We love it. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's always a good time. So from here, what are we gonna do? Help in hand, expanded force. Run it back. It's been the best thing ever since like series one. <laughs> this thing has been amazing. It's been a menace. Armor Rouge is a menace. This typing's so good too. And then add terrestrialization to it, it just makes it insane. It ends up withdrawing the flutter flutter. Trying to waste out Trick Room turns, but again, we have Charizard with the choice in the back end. He goes into Indeedee, which is, I mean, I guess it's kind of smarter. And we're just going to rip some damage here. You're ripping some damage. So Expanded Force is going to fly here. Pop. See you later, Tornadus. Now we can KO Indeedee next turn. For I'll do it again. I'll do it again. But I know the person on the other side who I'm versing is freaking out. This guy has no skill. He sucks. All he's doing is hitting helping hand expanded force. Yep, that's all I am going to do. So, eat me. <laughs> it happens to me. It's going to happen to you. So, I'm using it. I'm using it. Helping hand expanded force for the third time in a row. It's no problem. It's no problem. This might be the strongest Pokemon combo in this game. It is so good. And it's so consistently good. It's not like you have to do a crazy setup. Just immensely OP. What I mean protects. It's so funny. What I mean protects and indeed he dies. <laughs> I think we're <laughs> I think we're gonna use a four fourth turn. I think we I think we got four turns of it. It's so like it's so broken. It's so tough to beat. I'd be doing the same thing as my opponent. I'd be freaking out, protecting. I'm trying to waste out this trick room. The problem is, once he wastes out Trick Room, if he can, can't even fake me out here, which sucks. Can't even fake me out. But even if he wastes out Trick Rooms, then I just got a big old Charizard in the back and his choice scarf. So what are we going to do here? It's going to be awesome, guys. We're just going to hit that yield expanding force helping hand button. You guys aren't seeing this one coming. Should I shake hands? Is that game? 
Potentially, right? Sing did have Psychic Seeds. Helping Hand comes out here. Good game. Night Night, both you guys dead. Should not be allowed. Should not be allowed. Someone ban Armors indeed. You just get it on out of here. Third and final match, we dominate. Did not use Charizard, but we at least got to showcase him in today's video. This team right here is so powerful. Not just for having Charizard, but the other Pokemon around it. You got the Lilligan Torkoal combo, indeed in Arm Rouge, and then Fluttermane, which can go on any single team and make it nasty. If you guys want to push high ranks, I recommend using Steam. You can rock out with Charizard, pop some heat waves, or you can just do what I did in that third and final battle. Go into the Arm Rouge and just help again expand your force four times in a row. Just swept the team. It's that easy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on out of here. Just, just stop watching. I mean, you made it this far. You should be subscribed already. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.